Hi everyone, welcome to One Finance, and in this video, we're going to cover money market. What is money market? It refers to short-term debt or investment instruments with maturities of less than a year. It is classified as low risk, low returns, highly liquid, and for conservative investors. The examples are time deposit, which is actually the main content of this video, treasury bill, commercial paper, and investment funds. So let's say meron tayong time deposit from BDO. So sa bracket na 1,000 to 10,000, and let's say kukunin natin yung 30 days, we would get 0.50% per annum. So how can we get our gross interest? So we simply multiply the principal investment of 10,000 times 0.50% per annum. And then to get the fraction, we need to multiply that one by 30, which is the tenor divided by 360. And you would get 4.16. Okay, so this is exactly the gross interest before taxes and if there's any fees. So let's say medyo malaki yung investment, or let's say uh, 20 million, and then you stayed that for um, one year or 360 days, so you would get higher return as well. So that's 1.125%. Uh, How to get our interest? Now, there are actually two ways to get the interest. Una, kung kukunin mo yung interest niya every month, so that's a very straightforward computation. So pwedeng um, 20 million, the, that's the principal times 1.125%. Okay, so that's exactly 225,000 divided by 12, you would get 18.75,000. So meaning on the first month, you would receive 18.75 and every month thereafter, af, you know, until reaching the, the last uh, day of the time deposit, you would get 18.75,000. Okay, so what if gusto mong, you know, uh, i-roll over lang yung interest rate, no? Or yung interest amount. So, nagkakaroon siya ng compounding. So, basically, yung interest mo on the first uh, month, it's gonna be the same. Pero yung interest mo on the second, third, is actually different. Because on the second month, this is actually your principal of 20 million, okay, plus your first interest of 18.75k. And then on, let's say, on the sixth month, these are, this is actually the, the principal of 20 million plus your interest rates under previous months, okay? So, nagkakaroon ng compounding effect. In return, Instead of 225, mas malaki na yung kikita mo. That's 226,163.79 in a span of one year. So that's basically 1.131% higher than the original interest rate of 1.125%. Okay? So yun yung compounding. How to compute? This is exactly the formula 1 plus R, which is the rate, raised to N, which is the number of compounding period minus one and then the factor is being multiplied to your principal investment and you will get the 226k as your gross interest that's all for this video thank you very much for watching and see you next time